I will be honest, I know absolutely the square root of jack shit about trains. So I just want to point that out. I really do know nothing about trains. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and yes, today we are playing a brand new game here on the channel. One that we have never played before and a kind of game that I wouldn't normally play but um, I am playing this on my Series X for those of you who are wondering and I did purchase Xbox Game Pass and Train Sim World 2020 was one of the games on there and this channel is all about racing car games and simulation games and train sim world is about vehicles and it is a simulation game so it looked quite fun um it's not the usual kind of game we play here on the channel but i do think it will be quite exciting so i've got kind of a new plan with how i want to do videos and i'm going to be doing like a monthly theme so because i have xbox game pass it gives me access to a lot of games that I wouldn't normally be able to play. So um, every month there's going to be a new theme. Last month we played uh, some Need for Speed Payback and I do want to make more videos on Need for Speed Payback. That is not going away. Um, but this month we're going to be focusing on Train Sim World. If that gets a positive review, if you guys like this video, then I will continue to make them. But it's all kind of testing the water to see what kind of games you guys want to see me play and whether or not you actually enjoy it. We need to create a new profile. So I haven't got this far yet. Um, we need to pick a driver, I guess is what we're doing here. Um, you know what, we'll just go for the first one. Not really too fussed. This appears to be our train. Um, Okay, you've just been awarded some action points. Yeah, they're in the top right corner there. And these count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world, perhaps by looking up and down. Yeah, okay. And looking over to the left and the right. Yeah, okay. Would you like to invert your vertical axis? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no, I think we'll just keep it how it is. Besides operating trains, there are a lot of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around. Oh, so we can actually get out the trains on the platform. That's pretty cool. So I didn't know you could do that. I thought we were like going to be stuck in the train. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the many interactives to be discovered. Um... Oh, so there's like a, a, a discovery thing. There's uh, the little yellow signs and you can go and collect all of them. You can open the doors and walk inside. And press Y to get in and out of an available seat. Uh, oh, so you actually have to look at the seat, yeah. You can pause the game at any point and review the previous and current tasks. Check it out now and return to the game when ready. So yeah, you hit pause and it brings up the pause menu. It's now time to head up to the front. So we get out of the seat and let's get into the driver's seat. It's pretty cool actually that you can like walk around. I didn't know that was a thing. And there we go, we're in the driver's seat of a train. Um, a heads up display has appeared on the right, yeah I can see that. This is the speed di display, the white needle shows your current speed and the red marker indicates the maximum speed. Of, was that of the train or was that allowed? I don't know. It's a little bit too fast. Um, this is the power display, okay. And what's the last one? We've got these are the brake pressure dials, indicate how much pressure is in various brake systems. Okay. In the top right, oh my giddy ant. 
it's teaching us how to drive a train if I ever get stuck on a train and I have to drive it, it might be quite useful um, okay so we can dis we can hide some of the displays if we want to okay so green the track is clear yellow caution and red is danger which basically makes sense I guess uh, Cameron motion sway this can be disabled and re-enabled via the game settings. Okay. Uh, this train is ready to go. Oh, okay. We are moving. We are moving in our train. I have no idea what this train is. We've got a red light appears. Okay, so you don't have to continue to hold the 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 right trigger. Um, oh, there's our train. Continue your journey in Train Sim World. Take part in des training designed to teach you. Uh, it goes a little bit too fast. They could have slowed that down a little bit, but um, it does look pretty cool, to be honest. It's, it's very realistic, actually. I mean, I know it's a simulator game. That's the whole point of it, but it is it is very realistic. So we can deliver passengers. We can deliver cargo. And we can actually walk around on the platform and discover stuff, which is pretty cool. I didn't think you'd be able to get out of the train, honestly, but you can, which is pretty nice. So we've basically completed the tutorial. Not too difficult. I mean, it tells you everything you have to do. Um, so that's the train sim world induction done. So we don't want to replay that. I want to go and do a journey now. Um, so okay so this is where we've got the main Spezart barn I don't think I'm saying that right we've got Northern Transpennine Long Island Railroad and the Great Western Express well we'll go Northern Transpennine that is England does look like a very old sort of train we don't have that older trains in Britain now although the trains in Britain are a bit crap I will say they were a lot better back in the day but um, yeah nowadays not so great but we can actually walk around on the platform this is really cool can we go up the stairs yes we can okay yeah this looks like a very generic um, British railway station it does look very similar but well, it looks basically like any other railway station I've been on so here comes the train, we're going to board the train. Why is the train over there? Is that, is that not our train? Oh no, our train's coming down here, it's just there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the train we were getting on. Now, I assume we're going to be driving the train, we're not just going to be a passenger. Although it did let us sit in the passenger seat in the tutorial, so maybe you can be a passenger as well. But I assume we'll be driving the train. It'd be a bit boring if it was just train sim world passenger. Um, we might as well get to the front of the train, because I assume... Oh, we can't walk any further than this, it's an invisible door, okay. Uh, invisible wall sorry we'll get on the train sit in any available seat okay second class seat there we go we are a passenger apparently today so we're not going to be driving the train in this part okay so it says hold down the right stick and select external and then oh okay there we go yeah and front camera. Oh, okay, so this is how we change the view in the train. Press Y to switch between camera and drive and navigation modes. Use a combination of left and right sticks to fly around the train. Ah, okay, so we can like move around the train. You can like zoom in, you can zoom out. And spin the camera around okay that's pretty cool makes it a little bit easier to see um, there's a bridge we can go over the bridge there's another train going there 
and we see our driver. There's like a free mode camera kind of thing. You can use RT and LT to move up and down like this. We can see the driver there. So external cameras, and we want internal cameras. Second part C. There we go, we're back into normal. You have travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. So hopefully now we're going to be, hopefully we're going to drive a train. I really want to just drive a train. <laughs> Whenever I do one of these let's plays, I just want to skip to the actual exciting bit, um, which obviously for this game is driving the train yourself. But it's pretty cool that you can be a passenger as well. It's, I feel like it would be a little bit boring to be quite honest. Um, so there's all these things you can do, you can place up posters, you can clear logs off the track, which is pretty cool, and obviously you can drive a train. So it's not just driving a train, there is also other stuff, which is pretty cool as well. Um, okay, so we have the um, module induction, which is what we've just done, or we can continue our journey I think now it's going to show us how to drive that train there on the right. I think that's the kind of train that we're going to be driving. Um, yeah, diesel locomotives. Okay, here we go. I feel like this is going to be the tutorial. So we've got a couple of different ones. We've got the 45 class and the 47 class in a blue livery. This brief introduction will go through startup, stopping, passenger door operations. Okay. Uh, pick which one we want to drive. Oh, I like this one. I think this is class 45, maybe? I'm not sure. Battery isolation switch. Set the battery isolation switch to closed. Okay. A lot of time We'll be spent in a locomotion cab, so let's climb in and get aboard. Okay. Climb aboard. How do I how do I climb? Oh climb upstairs. Okay, there we go. And sit in the driver's seat. There we go. Okay. And do we need to shut the door? Or is the door the door is shut now? Okay, what have we got down here? Okay, master key off. Uh, you can also push the left stick up to increase the reverser. And press the engine start button. Okay. Ooh, things are happening. It's exciting. Okay. Okay, there we go. The engine is on now. Um, straight brake. Set the brake, the straight brake to 100. Okay. There we go. Pff, there's a lot of stuff to remember. It's like actually driving a train. So it's not just... Uh, what were we doing with this thing again? I think running wait for the brake system to charge oh good lord <laughs> it's quite exciting um but it is very much like uh no we want to reverse on forwards there we go uh, headlights hold down on the d-pad uh, hold right on the d-pad ah uh, okay front headlights on Almost ready. Release the remaining brakes, the parking brake, and the straight air brake. It's a lot of stuff to remember. It's as if you're actually driving a train. What have we got over here? Straight brake. Set the straight brake to zero. Okay. What have we got here? Throttle. Oh, you can also use the trigger. Okay. We are moving. We're moving in our train. Here we go. Let's put this baby up to 33% throttle. Let's get it going. 
and we are doing five miles an hour let's go let's get this baby moving okay coasting is always used to be fuel efficient climbing or falling grades can affect this however so be vigilant of your speed okay so if we oh I think I just put the throttle at full that is not what I wanted to do no 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 so if I just put the throttle like that is it now coasting use the throttle and brake to manage your speed is that is that doing anything okay so you can use the triggers yet yeah, to slow you down oh 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 bad things bad things bad things how do we um okay something's going haywire and I'm not sure what it is um, that's running what was there was another thing over there okay everything seems to be okay again how do I let's just put the throttle at like 20% is good driving significantly over the speed limit what is the speed limit? I have no idea. Uh, stopping the train in the right place takes skill and years of practice. It may take a few attempts to get right. Yes, no kidding. Um, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that did not go well. I feel like it pops too many things up on the screen too quickly. You've got to take it you've got to take it quite slow but it I don't want to say it's too complicated because it is a, a simulation game so it's supposed to be well not identical to the real thing but it's supposed to be as close to the real thing as possible basically but it's it throws a lot of information to you very quickly um, so okay we're going to attempt this again if we do nothing else in today's episode i do want to try and at least stop vaguely near a station that that is the goal for today's uh mission basically okay um master key we want that uh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, we want to press the start button. Okay. And then we have to fiddle with this thing. Yeah, so we have to put the brake on so we don't go anywhere, basically. And then we set this to running so is this uh i think this thing here is our actual brakes that we use set the reverser to forwards okay there we go and then we had to set the headlights put those on almost ready release the remaining brakes set the straight brake to okay we're speeding through this now and I'm just gonna put a gentle bit of throttle we don't need very much but I think this thing here possibly is a brake use the throttle to reach a speed of 10 okay let's go like 10% We don't need to, we don't need to go quickly. I know trains are supposed to be quite fast, but when we're setting off like here, we can just slowly build up to ten. We're at five miles an hour, six miles an hour, 
we need to get to 10 miles an hour um, I will be honest I know absolutely the square root of jack shit about trains so I just want to point that out I really do know nothing about trains so if you're watching this and you are a train driver or you know how to drive a train or something then I can only apologize you can also use the right bumper to release the throttle oh okay so we are now at 10 miles an hour okay use the throttle and brakes to manage your speed throttle off Hmm, what is the brake though? I feel like, was this the brake? I think that is the brake. Yes, that is the brake. Okay. Yeah, we want that as, we want that running. Okay, we're getting there now, we're getting there. So that is the brake there we need to be at 10 so okay so that's how we do the throttle there and that's how we apply brakes and okay so you use the right bumper it use the right bumper to sorry use the right trigger to throttle up and the right bumper to throttle down and then you use the left trigger to brake and the left bumper to basically release the brake. Okay, that makes sense now. We're, we're getting hang of it. Um, we are approaching the station. We're doing 12 miles an hour. We've got a yellow signal, so that means caution. Um, we do need a little bit of braking though because we are approaching the station is there another train coming no there is not another train coming whoops we don't want the brakes on okay yeah oh stop 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 it's it's on red that means we have to stop i think nothing is coming it's telling us there's a red signal and i think that's what we failed at last time you know what we're just gonna go What? We're at full throttle. Are we going to move? Why will it not move? It's doing the weird jangly thing again. Okay. Right. We want to release the brakes fully. And throttle up okay we are moving again thank god so you have to rev it up and then okay yeah let's not go too crazy with the throttle let's just coast gently into the station now let's try a station stopping at yeah I apologize if I'm not talking very much I am trying to concentrate and it is it's it is quite a um, intense game you do have to think quite a lot about what you are doing why is it doing this jangly thing again okay let's Let's not go t too crazy with the throttle. Throttle off. Bit of braking. We'll go 50% braking. No, well, we'll just slam the brakes on now. There we go. Is that... Are we stopped now? Set the throttle off and the driver brake to initial application. Okay, throttle off. 
Okay, we're making progress. Here we go. Hold the D-pad left to bring up the dispatch menu. Unlock. We want to unlock right. Unlock both. Okay. We'll unlock both. Load passengers. Okay. Yeah, it's it's one of those games it's quite hard to commentate on because I'm having to do a lot of thinking. There's a lot of um things that you have to try and figure out on your own. Um so once you get the hang of the like left trigger, left bumper thing, um it's actually not too bad. But initially it doesn't really explain it to you very well. Um but here we go. We'll lock both good work that is the basis covered a manual can be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this locomotive and more um oh that's all we had to do so we have moved about half a mile and stopped at a station and let the passengers on that is what we have achieved in today's video um, I am going to leave it there because it's been quite intense, I will say. Uh, hopefully you have found this video as enjoyable as I have. It's been interesting, but I do want to continue making videos on uh, Train Sim World. It does appear to have a lot more content to offer. Um, so if it gets positive review on this video, then I will make more videos on it for you. Um, if you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate you dropping a like. But that is going to do it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I will see you in the next video.